हॅलो स्टुडंट्स वेलकम टू द कोर्स ऑन मायक्रोबायोलॉजी आय एम ऋतुपर्ण करकरे फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बायोटेक्नॉलॉजी इंजिनिअरिंग के आय टीस कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग ऑटोनॉमस कोल्हापूर टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू लर्न द लेसन ऑन बॅक्टेरियल इन्युमरेशन फ्रॉम द युनिट ऑफ मेथड्स इन मायक्रोबायोलॉजी बॅक्टेरियल इन्युमरेशन इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ काउंटिंग अँड कॅल्क्युलेटिंग द बॅक्टेरियल फ्लोरा इन अ गिवन सॅम्पल द सॅम्पल्स कॅन बी natural samples from different resources of different geographies such as soil water etc here the calculation of bacterial flora is needed to study the habitat the second sample is contaminated water or poisoned food items where the pathogen concentration needs to be studied now let us see what are the methods of enumeration of bacteria there are principally two methods first is direct microscopic count here the special slides such as hemocytometer is used where the direct counting of cell is done under microscope and the concentration will be reported as cells per unit volume this method cannot distinguish between live and dead cells unless and until we perform any viability staining technique such as trypan blue test The second method is standard plate count or viable plate count. This method uses spread plate technique of microbiology and where the incubation period of 1 to 2 days is required. Here only live cells can grow and counted. Here is a reflection spot one for you. Just pause the video for few seconds and think. Why standard plate count can only enumerate viable bacteria? whereas microscopic count cannot now let us go ahead and see the procedure of standard plate count the first step is collection of sample after the sample is collected it will be taken on the unit weight basis like 1 gram of soil or 1 ml of water the unit weight of the sample will be put into a sterile saline solution where the mass of sample will be suspended the sterile saline is considered here as a isotonicity agent for the cells now these samples would contain numerous microorganisms hence we need to perform the third step of serial dilution in the procedure the serial dilution will decrease the count of microflora so that we can easily count them now let us understand how the serial dilution is performed in the laboratory with the help of the figure in this slide here the first tube is sterile saline of 10 ml so assuming that our sample is 1 gram weighed soil the soil will be suspended in this particular tube which will be our original culture from this first tube 0.1 ml of the sample that is 100 microliter is taken out and it is mixed aseptically in the second tube containing 9.9 ml of sterile saline the total volume becoming 10 ml now here because 0.1 ml is 100th part of 10 ml this particular dilution becomes 10 raised to minus 2 and the dilution factor will be considered to be 10 raised to 2 from the same tube again point is taken out and again added into the third tube containing 9.9 ml of saline solution here as per the previous calculation the dilution factor would be 10 to the minus 2 hence from the first original tube if you compare then the third tube would have dilution factor of 10 to the minus 4 from the third tube now 1 ml of the sample would be taken and it is added to 9 ml of the sterile solution the fourth tube now here the total makeup volume is 10 ml because 1 ml is a 1/10th part of the 10 ml here the dilution becomes 10 to the minus 1 so if you compare the fourth tube from the first original tube the total dilution becomes 10 to the minus 5 where the dilution factor can be considered to be 10 to the 5 in the similar trail we can dilute the samples and we can reach up to 10 to the minus 8 or beyond now when we perform these serial dilutions accordingly the dilution factors would be considered like 10 to 5 10 to 6 10 to 
if from an original bacterial suspension of 10 ml 1 ml is transferred three times in the series of saline tubes with 9 ml volume followed by two times transfer of 0.1 ml to 9.9 .9 ml saline tubes what will be the dilution factor in this process after the serial dilution is performed the fourth step is choosing a range of dilutions for spreading the nutrient agar plates there will be sterile nutrient agar plates available and the dilutions like 10 raised to minus 1 to 10 raised to minus 5 would be chosen for spreading in the spread plating 0.1 ml sample from the respective saline tube suspension would be taken and spread on the agar plate after all the plates are spread then they are kept in static incubators which is a temperature incubator for bacteria the appropriate temperature of incubation would be 37 degrees celsius it will be incubated there for 24 to 48 hours that is one to two days once the incubation is over we will be observing the colonies of bacteria grown on the surface of the petri plate and these colonies are counted once the colony counting is done then the calculation of the final concentration of bacterial species is done let us see how exactly the plates look like so this is one picture showing you the different plate status from the dilution of 10 raised to minus 1 to 10 raised to minus 5 if you see this figure then from the 10 raised to minus 1 till we go to 10 raised to minus 5 the number of bacterial colony is reducing in the 10 raised to minus 1 the growth is a mat growth or a crowded growth and eventually the number of colonies would go down in 10 raised to minus 5 plate if you count then by visible observation you can see there are 5 colonies grown now this colony counting can be done by either direct observation by eyes or we have a colony counter machine which is shown in figure here by any of the technique we count the colony number now let us understand how the calculation exercise is done which is the final exercise to calculate the concentration of bacteria so let us assume that on the petri dish of 10 raised to minus 5 it shows 5 colonies now because there were 5 colonies 5 bacterial cells were spread at the time of spreading at these locations now this each cell which gives rise to one colony would be called here as colony forming unit cfu now in the case of 10 raised to minus 5 plate there are five colonies so we call that there are five cfus present now this particular plate has a dilution factor of 10 raised to 6 because suspension dilution we had 10 raised to minus 5 dilution and we took 0.1 ml that is 100 microliter for the actual spreading the total dilution factor becomes 10 raised to 6 so because there were 5 cfus present on the plate but originally it came from the dilution factor of 10 raised to 6 hence the original suspension that is the first tube contained 5 into 10 raised to 6 cells that is cfus and now if you go back and calculate one gram of soil sample was suspended in the first original tube of 10 ml saline and because of this if your original suspension contains 5 into 10 raised to 6 cells then one gram of soil sample should contain those many cells that is the original source so hence we conclude here the one gram of soil sample contains 5 into 10 raised to 6 cells in this way the concentration of bacteria is done in the given sample i hope you have understood this process of standard plate count thank you